Hey guys, it'd be good if I actually turned on my mic. Uh, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Mr. Camille here, and we're playing some more Fallout 4. And where we left off, we were... Um, I actually don't remember. Like, when I don't re remember is because I haven't played it. Um, played this game in a couple of days. So, yeah. Just gonna double check if we've got anything I can put here. Does it seem like it? Nope. Anyway, so what we did, I think the last episode, we were wandering around the far end, we talked to the Atom Cats, I'm pretty sure, yes we did, and we also we got Billy, um, the ghoul kid that has been alive since, um, ever since the bombs dropped, been living in that uh, little tight place for a very long time. Uh, but anyway, what we are going to do is we're going to do the, the main quest, more of that, so let's go ahead and let's do that. So we're going to talk to Nick Valentine, so that's okay, good, good to know. Alright, so we need to go and talk to Nick about... Are you here? Nick? I can take things now. Oh God! Anyone else? <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Anytime. Um, happy to help. Happy to do it. Yeah. Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time, then, do you? Here. Actually, the amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward, plus a little something extra. You know, Ooh. if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa, one case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down. I wish when it take a seat, make yourself comfortable. Oh, Nick, I will. I wish you can deny. Rewards when it comes to money if you never actually asked for it. But anyway, let's go ahead and let's quick, quickly just scavenge through his things and grab everything that Nick doesn't need because he's a robot. I think this is Ellie's. Yep. That's in better shape than I expected. <laughs> Do you know what else is in better shape? This house. Look, I'm just taking all your shit there, uh, Nick. There we go. Oh. The Earl Sterling case. Apparently Earl just up and disappeared one day. No one's seen him since. I've been meaning to put Earl's case to bed for a while now. Glad you're up for it. So, what's your take on the case, Ellie? On Earl? Well, he didn't have any enemies, that's for sure. Someone would have to notice you're alive first. And Earl didn't exactly have the charisma to inspire any crime or passion. The charisma as he know. was... It can't be the Institute, right? Guess that's up to you to find out. Jeez. Anyway, I can come back here because things do respawn. We did just get the iComic book, so... I think? When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. Um, my husband was murdered. Um, he was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they, they just, so on. Uh, we were in the vault, and so we were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It was kind of. A silent routine isn't good. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. There's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? Yeah, records of it. Um, there was a there was a man and a woman who didn't say much, but I remember they called me the backup. There was a man and a woman, and they didn't say much, but 
But I remember they... They called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? I wish you can tell them exactly, like, like, everything. Like, okay, the, they walked in point. They opened up the, um, the cryo, um, cell thing. Um, try to take the baby, put a bullet, and just Get went. hit in the head? No. We're looking for my baby, <laughs> Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? And why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care. Mm, baby sure. needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. Who are the Raiders? I'm sorry, like, who are, are the guns? Do you think, uh, do you think Raiders might have done this? You think Raiders might have done this? <laughs> I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. True, they're, yeah, like, uh, um, they're average people. Super mutants? What are they? Big, green, muscles on muscles. In other words, hard to miss. I think we can safely rule them out. <laughs> um, actually, in fact, like I was saying in the, in, in the last few episodes, um, the super mutants were made, were made be from people from, in the Commonwealth. Well, like, uh, the ones that are, uh, when the Institute is around. They were, on you. like, a few hundred, like, like, a several hundred years of, like, the Institute slowly making these people a thing, like you take people to me in, um, into uh, super mutants and then bring them back out again. Um, the super mutant, um, or like the FEV program was developed What's before the war to, ma something. to make super soldiers to fight the Chinese in China. But the program went bust um, because of nuclear bombs and the facility where they're holding all the submutants and the vault, um, because the testing kept on continuing on after the war, uh, on 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 the east coast, so on the west coast, Get hit in the head. near San Francisco, towards to Washington State, um, the Brotherhood um, of Steel um, said that they saw green people walking through the desert of uh, of California, and when they opened fire. They heard moaning and screaming and like yelling from these things, and they rushed towards them. Talk? When the when when when, when the Brotherhood soldier dro dropped one of them, like killed two of them, they saw them what they were and they were shocked. The gunners. Who are the gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. So it gives you one choice. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Mm -hmm. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Yeah, I see Those why. Those early models sense of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it. Yeah. What their plan is, or where they are. Not even me, and I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. Well, you're a prototype. Anyway, I need to find... Either way. Oh, like either way, I her. need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? Um... I never... So I'll never forget that voice, low, rough, sound a little like sandpaper around the face. I'll never forget right, around the that face. voice. Low and rough, like, like sandpaper across your face. Huh. Not much to go on, 
But a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? Um, the man, I'm sorry, so the man killed my husband. He had a handgun. Um, I didn't get a close look at him, but he was, he was pretty much like 10th, like he'll, he, he was more than, than like Waiting on you. 15 centimeters away from your face. I don't know how you cannot see that. <laughs> um, the woman was dressed up in... The woman was dressed in, uh, I think it was kind of a, a hazard suit. The man had some sort of metal brace on his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? Um, one of one of them came right up to me. Bald head, scar across. These two um conduct each other because one says like you haven't seen him, like you don't you don't have have like a very good look the at him. Isn't getting us anywhere. But the other one says that he did. <laughs> so one of them came right up to me. Old head, scar across his left eye. Wait, it couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Uh, who? <laughs> oh yeah, I heard their names, their home addresses, and where their diary keys are hidden. All right, all right, calm down. <laughs> way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, uh, what notes do we have I had about to. the Kellogg? I had to. The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Uh, no way that could be Sean. It's Sean. It's Sean. It, it has to be... Somehow. Don't jump the gun on me. You said you were looking for an infant, remember? That's yeah, but you never nine years difference by my count. Look, maybe he has a son of his own. The whole you Kellogg have a kid. Kellogg. Way, they both a I don't want to spoil it. Let you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. Oh, shit. See if we can <laughs> snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. That's how you end up inside of an old world, like, like, like an old vault there, uh, smarty pants. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, that's how you end up in a vault, vault 81, that, that was going to be used, I did Google it. <laughs> I didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance? Bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. But nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all of him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Here's the point though, many mercs will just murder both both parents. Make sure that none of them talk. Yeah, that Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. That's one heck of a lock. That's something to hide, Kellogg. Why don't you give it a try? No way I can pick this. Nick. Hmm, we can't get through that door. No luck? Guess we're stubborn lock, ain't it? See that platform in the distance, near the city entrance? 
That's the elevator to the mayor's office. I need to ask around. Ooh. There. I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Sure, let me just. You're playing hide and seek? <laughs> I just had to. I just had to because it was a perfect good shot. Um, and he was. Platform in the distance near the city entrance. That's the elevator. Let's try that again. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Okay, he's more than 100 meters. Boom. What was that? Yeah. You can't one shot him. From, from from where I'm at. Total hack. Platform in the distance near the city entrance. That's the elevator. Yeah, 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 Nick. I know. I've done this before. So for shooting you into universes. Never happened. Just Piper. <laughs> Actually, do I have any like camps? Make this a bit easier for me. Hmm, I got I got beer. Buff out doesn't. Hmm. Might have to buy some alcohol. So Piper going the wrong way. Uh Piper, no, no Piper, no, no. No, don't jump. It's a long fall. You will kill yourself. <laughs> oh, me? On the, from the other hand, I can. You get me. Alright, so we need to wait for a couple of minutes. So let me just sit on. Nope, oh, can't sit on that one. The doctor's here. That means people should be coming up. No. I don't hear myself again. Oh. Nice. Heard you rescued Valentine. Yep. Good work. No sense scared the hell out of me. But Nikki, he ain't like those institute psychos. Mm-hmm. True, true. Now a swatter, that's a real weapon. Talk to Mo Cronin. He'll fix you up. Nah, 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 I'm good. I already got myself a baseball bat. Broke up with my girl. She kept a cap off a toothpaste. Know who does that? A synth. You're an ass. <laughs> You're an asshole. That's just that over the smallest little thing. What? Sorry, but that's a straight up like cruel. Hip boy? Fuck. <laughs> my left arm for one of those. Prescriptions filled right here. Anything you need. But sure. Let's take a look. Every chem for every need. I think some of the quests. Yeah, like. Yeah, I don't want to take a goddamn ammo. I want your. Do you have anything to give me, like. Charisma? Wait, I got tons of stuff. Oh, <laughs> you got some of those. Why can I not buy them though? Hmm. But I do have got tons of clothes I can wear. I got tons of them. <laughs> oh, oh no, I didn't wear those clothes. I just I don't have any use for them apparently. No, when I do. <laughs> Damn it, it's a freaking holotape. I, I wish you can put ho ho holotapes in this area. 
Cause. My right, charisma. That gives us two charisma. Any hat to give me charisma? This wig? If I see anything that has free charisma, I'm grabbing that. Nothing, everything else gives me a. Some other thing. Hmm. Okay, that gives that gives me charisma. So appearance, put that on, put that on. Let's just do this. <laughs> don't need that on. I don't. Oh, I want that. Pretty sure that only, that only gives me gives, gives me like yep two charisma. Or where is it? That. Uh, that will do. <laughs> Anything else? Luck? No, we don't need that. And we do have one beer, so we do have that. Actually, I might just double check with the... Um... <laughs> I'm gonna have to do a male playthrough, because I think you can get a sex change. No, no, you can't. When you're a male, you're a male. And when you're a female, you're a female. Damn! But actually, there is a mod to allow you to do that. I'm not even kidding. I know the mod. <laughs> Damn, she didn't open. She's, um, what's she called? Um, so like, the mod is, it, it is available on the Xbox. Do remember that. It's probably, it's, it's probably, it's on the Nexus. <laughs> Jeez, lady. I like guns too, but you think you might be overcompensating there? What? Why am I caught? Um, I don't want to ask. I don't want to ask. Why are you not open? Is she early night? Maybe? Let's find out. Oh, like, is she... Was like a quest now? Yeah, press T again. Now a swatter, that's a real weapon. Talk to Mo Cronin. He'll fix you up. No, I don't want to break in. Excuse hey. me. I don't know why we let Valentine get this far. He saved one or two people and everyone forgets he's a freaking sick. He's a good synth. He's not a bad guy. Now I wish I... Actually, does that... Like, he's not a bad person. Like, fine, like, he's a synth and all, but, like... If you're a synth, would you want to live in a place where... You felt... S where, you, where you're safe? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think so. I think so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she lives in the chop stand, I'm pretty sure. Let's actually just double check. Yeah, let's first just save it. Yeah, quick save. Yes.
Is she here? She's not here. What the hell? Uh... What? Why is she not here? Let's go back out. <laughs> 